गुड मॉर्निंग गायस इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वर्चुअल एजेंट विच इज़ अ चैट बॉर्ड प्रेजेंट इन सर्विस नाउ एंड इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन लंडन वर्जन आई एम करेंटली मेकिंग दिस वीडियो इन मैड्रेड सो विल हैव सम एडिशनल फंक्शनैलिटीज इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू एक्टिवेट द प्लग इन एंड वी कैन यूज द डिज़ाइनर एंड हाउ टू यूज अ वर्चुअल एजेंट चैट इन अ वेब क्लाइंट और ऑन अ सर्विस पोर्टल पेज and we'll do some branding here okay so let's get started so there are three plugins required just to test out the service now virtual agent functionality i have already activated these three plugins in service now just to save the time so the first one is glide virtual agent the second one is virtual agent designer and the third one is itsm virtual agent conversation so i recommend activating them in this order only if we go and check here these are already installed in this version okay so to use them if we go after activating all these three uh, plugins you will be able to see under collaboration the chat setup branding setup designers general settings and message messaging apps integration okay so let's tr uh, try to initiate our service portal chat okay i'll go to my service portal page there we go so this is my default service portal page and i will try to um bring our uh, virtual agent widget here so control right click and page in designer and we will search for our virtual agent widget there it is it's loading so we can actually drag and drop it anywhere it comes all right okay here we go okay i have added it here virtual agent service portal okay what i will do is i will go to this page again and i will refresh and you can see a new icon here for the chatbot and these are the out of the box messages which come up so we can modify them as well and this is show me everything is the topics which we configure in our chatbot so we'll go there shortly this is the first way to use the virtual agent in our service portal the second way would be uh go to the url and dollar sn hyphen va hyphen web hyphen client hyphen app dot two so this will open up a chatbot uh, entirely uh, on a different screen okay so you can uh, actually get the whole screen for the chatbot okay so these are the two ways from where you can use virtual agent chatbot the third one is the virtual agent branding so branding is something like changing the icon banner anything if we go here and go into the menu collaboration and we can see branding setup so what you can do is here is you can uh, change the chatbot's image okay so maybe if you go here and try to add a new image maybe okay let's take this dummy image and i will try to save this one okay let's try 
so you see the banner image on the top has been updated uh, so you can see the new image here so you can put on your company's logo here and that should help you out here and then we go to the header we can change the background color we can even change support so maybe if maybe i can type in here service now support okay and i'll try to save this one And instead of no support, it should come as no service, no support. And you see the changes here. Similarly, we can make other changes as well. Any color you want according to your company or something, so you can do it easily. The next thing would be the agent contact. So on the right hand side, you can see these three dots. And if you click here, uh, you can see the contact support button which is out of the box if I click here it will show me the ways to other ways to contact the uh, service desk so one is the contact live agent email support or call support so these are the three ways which are defined here so you can actually uh, update according to your company's email ID maybe and uh, you can have something like your uh, contact live agent so you can change to contact my company's agent or something if you have named your agent something so you can do that as well and then the fourth point is use the virtual agent general settings to define basic characteristics of a conversation so for that we will go to general settings and default messages which were coming up how can I help you maybe you can type here I am how can I help you or, and the selection message will be maybe type keywords to search okay and I will have it saved okay I'll try to refresh this one and check if these messages are updated okay so these messages are updated so you can do it according to your company requirements as well okay so the third plugin which we actually uh, activated was ITSM virtual agent conversations which are the ITSM conversations present out of the box. So using this these uh, conversation you can actually uh, make your own designer conversation designer. So currently they are uh, inactive so if uh, I can you know activate one of them you can see if we activate this one okay I have to and then maybe publish this topic will start appearing on the virtual agent chat right now nothing is coming up so when I refresh the new topic which we activated should be here when I click show me everything Okay, open IT ticket okay instead of that also we can type in the keywords which were undefined in here maybe create open incident ticket so if I even if I cross this one and I type create this topic comes up open IT ticket maybe short description should be maybe PC is not working so it shows up the KB article which it found relevant and it might help us out to resolve the issue instead of creating an incident and suppose if this knowledge article did not help the user what they can do is they can click no and the urgency may be medium 
and the new incident will be opened on which I can actually uh, click and go to my incident see here this incident has been created so in our next videos we will uh, cover how to create a new conversation or how to design a new conversation and we'll cover some other topics as well maybe some general settings like the live agent settings and how to route your chat to to a live agent or to which particular group so everything should be covered in the next video thanks for watching the this video guys